Hey guys, um, to start this off, this is my first video for my channel, and uh, today I'll be st I'll be uh, showing my Game Boy collection. So, uh, um, well, what I have right now because all my collections are constantly growing. So I'll start with Mario Luigi Superstar Saga, and uh, this is actually the first Mario game that I ever played, and um, I'm not a big fan of RPGs, so I didn't like it that much. But it does have um, the original Mario Brothers Arcade, so I have to give it props for that. Next, Yu-Gi-Oh! Worldwide Edition, Stairway to the Destined Duel. I don't know, I need glasses to read that. Anyways, um, uh, what's it called? This, I actually got this game when I was younger, and it was donated by my good cousin, Magnetic 89 Um like check out his channel and um when i was young this was actually my favorite game because i was really into Yu-Gi-Oh. now i'm not that much into Yu-Gi-Oh anymore but it's still really fun okay uh, next uh kirby and the amazing mirror i also got this game when i was really young and it was also one of my favorite games and it still is one of my favorite games it's a really fun game i highly recommend it if you still like game boys and stuff Okay, next, Mega Man Battle Network 4 Blue Moon. Um, I actually got this game recently, and uh, it's really fun. It's also RPG style, but I know like I'm not uh, like a big fan of RPGs, but this game is really fun. You should check it out. Uh, next, Dogs. Um, uh, this really isn't one of my favorite games. Like I, I never play it, and. I don't know what to say about it, like, pretty much like you just own a dog in this game, you feed it and walk it and stuff, but me, like, I never, like, I was, I, um, I grew up without a dog, so I got this game, and, uh, yeah, and, like, I thought it would be, like, kind of good, but it's not, anyways. Uh, The Incredibles, this is obviously based off the movie, and, uh, this game, like, it sounds childish, but it's a very fun beat-em-up. And, um, if you're into this sort of stuff, I highly recommend it. Next, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. This sticker is weird, it's off. Anyways, uh, I never played it, so I can't really say much about it. It doesn't look that good. Anyways, uh, Madagascar. Um, this game was, uh, based on the movie, and, uh, obviously... And it's not that bad of a game, like I've seen worse, but it's definitely not one of my favorites. <laughs> the Spongebob Squarepants movie, game. Uh, I got this game when I was really young, and it was, it used to be one of my favorites, and it's still pretty fun now. But, like, I already beat it, like, a, a few times, so it's, it's kind of boring now, but, yeah. Next, Ice Age, um... Uh, what should I say about this game? Uh, it's not one of my favorite games, but I guess it's okay. Like, I don't play it that often. These are, like, this is, like, one of my games that are always behind my drawer that I never touch. Pokemon Pinball, uh, Sapphire, I uh, Ruby and Sapphire. Um, this was my first Game Boy game I ever got, and it's a really fun pinball game. And, uh... I guess it's, well, it's, it's a really fun pinball game, I guess, just with Pokemon. It's pretty fun. Next, The Wild. I uh, never played this game. I don't know how it is. Uh, Lego Star Wars, the video game. Um, I, I really wanted it growing up, and then when I finally got it, um, I really, like, played with it a lot, and, um, it's really cool because there's like three games, uh, the first three Star Wars movies based on them. Well, not four, five, and six, but uh, number one, two, and three. And uh, it's pretty much like Star Wars, but in Lego. Next, Donkey Kong Country. Uh, this is one of my, well, yeah, one of my favorite games I have. It's a lot like the Game Boy Color version, Donkey Kong Country. But um, obviously the graphics are better. And uh, the music is more enhanced in uh, more enhanced or sounds better in this version, obviously. But yeah, I, I find it's pretty much just a clone of this one. 
uh, Super Mario Brothers 3. This is my favorite game for the Game Boy Advance, and um, it's actually like it's actually a clone of the NES version, which I also have. But uh, the, obviously, the NES version is a lot better. But um, it's it's still like a really fun game. I spend lots of time playing this game. Next, uh, three games in one: Pong, Asteroids, and Yard's Revenge. I believe. Uh, I'm pretty sure these were arcade games, but I'm not sure. I'm not completely sure. I know Asteroids was one, and um, I know they all made their their appearance on the Atari 2600. But anyways, this was um, my most recent game I got. I paid five dollars for it, and I find it's well can, five dollars Canadian, and I find it's it's uh, really worth it because it's awesome. Like three classics and only five dollars for the GBA. Next, Duel Masters, Senpai Legends. Um, this is also um, one of my first games I got, and like when Duel Masters was actually like popular, I got this game, and it's actually really fun. Um, it's not just like a card game, but like it's it's uh, really fun. Like I highly recommend it if you're into Duel Masters, I guess. And last but not least, Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith. Um, I believe this is like the second game I ever got for the Game Boy Advance, and um, it's really fun. Like, th like a lot of levels are challenging, but if you manage to beat it, which pretty, if you're like a good gamer, it's like pretty easy to beat it. But um, I highly recommend this one also because it's really fun. It used to be my favorite game, but yeah. Anyways, so this is um. My whole Game Boy collection, as you can see, is scattered everywhere. But anyways, yeah. Um, also have uh, some of the original box packaging, the boxes for some of these games. So hold on, I'll, I'll go get it up here. Back. Okay, well I found the uh, the boxes. So I have the box for Pokemon Pinball, Duel Masters. This one's cool. It's a limited edition. Look, opens. Very cool. Um, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, the SpongeBob SquarePants movie, Oops. Um, Yu Gi Oh Worldwide Edition, Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, and Dogs, um, Star Wars uh, Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith. Uh, Lego Star Wars the video game and uh, Pong Asteroids and Yards Revenge. Okay, these are in boxes. Okay, well, um, so make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, my next collection I'll be showing you will be about Nintendo 64. So, bye.